Welcome to mobile application tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, I've got a new tutorial series here on how to switch between widgets. And this is going to be the first episode of that tutorial series. Um, I do have an accompanying article here where there'll be a link in the website. And as you can see here, here's the episodes here. Um, image download this is the one we're going to be doing here and then we're going to follow on here showing you the various mechanisms that you can switch between widgets basically in this case it might seem like switching between um, fragments as an android but it's just between widgets is what we're doing in flutter and if i just scroll on down here if you want to look at the documentation you've got the details of the code changes that go into here as well and one other point i just want to highlight there is an equivalent series to this in android using the kotlin language and i will link leave a link to that in the description as well and basically it's the same thing as what we're going to be doing in Flutter but this is an Android using the Kotlin language here and it's basically how you switch between fragments but going across to Flutter we're going to be just basically switching our widgets so we will make a start so first thing we need to do is we're going to create a new Flutter project from scratch to start a new Flutter project it's going to be a Flutter application select next and I'll call this, what should I call this? I'll call this Flutter. And it's basically going to be switching widgets. So it's as, in, as the name describes that. Um, check your SDK path. I think I'll just keep the uh, defaults as they are and select next. And I'm not going to be doing any um, Android code for this, so I don't need to select that. And just double check your company domain name. Select finish. I'll just drag this across into my main window. And we'll just wait for this build to complete. Okay, the build's now completed. You need to ensure that you're inside the main.dart file here. So this is the location of it. It lives inside the lib folder. Okay, so it gives you a default application here. And what we're going to do here is just, I'm just going to replace all the contents in here and start from scratch. So what I want to do first here is to get the material library so we can get all the material related widgets okay and now we're going to start creating some widgets first widget i want to create um, i'll call this load image and it's going to be a stateful widget and um, the reason i'm making this a stateful widget is that i want to add interactivity in following episodes in other words the user can make selections and the widget will change so we need a stateful widget for that okay so inside here I'm going to call create state I didn't really want to do that I will stick with the default we can remove this line here and I'm just going to change here so I'm going to create a new class just down below and we'll call that class load image state I need the uh, round braces for that okay so it's giving me an error here it's because we haven't yet created this uh, state widget and so we'll just do that now and so we've got a stateful widget it does require a widget that has a state so we'll create a new class for that and it's going to be a load image state do we need to extend it from in here it's going to be a and it's going to inherit from the state class with a type of our load image class there put in the closing braces for that and it's giving us an error there it does want us to implement one of the methods on a mac i can press alt enter and create the missing overrides there so this does need to return a widget 
So we'll go into the to do, replace that. And so we do need to return a widget. So much choices in Flutter for widgets, but we're going to be using the material scaffold widget for that. Just makes layout quite simple for what we would need to do here. And I will put a semicolon on the end there and press enter there. And inside the scaffold widget, I'm going to add app bar, so bar at the top of the widget. We do need to create a, a new widget for that, and it's going to be an app bar widget. And I'm just going to give the name of nope. So let's go down here, and this does require a title, which is a widget. So we can create another widget of the type title, and. And I'm just going to go back here. I'm not going to create a title widget. I want to create a text widget. And inside here, I can just call image downloaded just for the moment for this particular episode there. Okay, and that's our state widget now completed. I just want to do one more thing before we actually run this initial part of the application here and we see need to provide an entry point for to tell flutter where to run the code and to do that we create a void main method and notice up here i'm going to use the flat arrow so this is if the if the um if the method or the function this is going to be a one line we can just use the um uh, flat arrow there instead of the curly braces. Okay, so we need to call run app and inside run app I'm going to create a new material widget there and inside here it just requires a title and I can hard code that in as image uh, let's call it widget switcher It also requires a home, and the home is going to be our stateful widget. So we'll create a new load image there. It does require a semicolon on the end of there. And those should be the only changes we need to make. So basically, we've set up our stateful widget and our load image state widget, and it contains a scaffold bar with just a title. So what we're going to do is run this. And before I do that, I'm just going to drag across my um, emulator here. And now we can just click run. And as you can see, our scaffold widget with the toolbar is being displayed at this stage. Now we're going to download an image from the internet and I'm going to use a stateless widget for that because this image it's not going to support any interactivity and it's not going to change after creation so we can use a stateless widget for that so let's remove this white space go down here create a class for that and I'll call this image URL just to represent it's downloading an image from the internet and we'll extend that and this is going to be a stateless widget okay we'll add the override method here alt enter for a mac create one missing overrides got that there and what i want to do here is to add a constructor inside here so we want to provide the uri of the image we're going to download to this class so we'll call image uri for the constructor so this will be created this will get done when we create it so image URI. Now use round braces. Now watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use the squiggly braces here and that means it's named parameters which we see all the time in Flutter. Okay and I also want to create a string just to represent our image URL. Okay, and we can initialize, set the value for that inside our constructor, inside the curly braces here, by calling this image URI, and 
put the semicolon on the end there. And so when we create this uh, image URI widget, stateless widget, we do need to pass in the uh, URI of the actual image itself. Okay, and that's going to be fed into when we uh, actually download the image. Now we'll go into the to-do there and we do need to create a, a widget for our image. So we do need to return a, a new widget there. So we create a widget which is going to be our, it's going to be, I'm just going to select it here. It's going to be image.network. So this allows us to download and display an image, this particular widget. Okay, so it does need the URI, which is the image URI. And we do need to put a semicolon on the end there. Okay, I shouldn't have pressed Control S, but nothing's yet going to happen because we need to call the stateless widget from inside our scaffolding. So underneath the app bar here, we do need to give it a body. And inside the body, we can now create an instance of our stateless widget, which is the image URI. And remember how we specify these curly braces here. That means it's a named parameter. So we can just call the image URI. And we need to supply a URI to that, which we haven't yet done. So I'll just bring back the uh, web article here. So inside here, I have specified a URI for the image we're going to download. So I'm just going to copy and paste that and go back to our Android Studio here. And I'm just going to paste that into here. And so this just holds the URI, our address of the image we're going to download. And one thing you want to note here is the const keyword. So basically this gets set up during the compile time of the application. Okay, so we can now provide that URI, which is the image URL one. In the following tutorials, we are going to be adding two more images just so we can demonstrate how you can switch between widgets, the various methods for doing that. Okay, so that's all we should need to do here. So I'm just going to do a hot reload here. So I'm just going to press Command Save on a Mac, Command S. And this will take a bit of time. It doesn't take so long, but it may take you a bit of time here. And as you can see, we've got the image now being displayed there. Okay, I always want to make one final change. Um, in the, if you've done my uh, Kotlin on Android uh, switching between fragments tutorial series, you'll see that I fill the whole image, um, whole display with the image. So we can do similar in Kotlin there. So if we go back down into our image URL stateless widget, okay, and underneath the image URI, we've got a fit property. And if we call the box fit cover there, that will cover it. Now we do need to do a couple other things. Inside the scaffold, it actually puts um, restrictions on our width and height. So we will need to remove that. So we can call width and override the uh, restrictions on that by passing infinity. And we can do the same thing for height, call double infinity for that as well. Now we'll do a hot swap and see if we can cover the whole display with the image as you can see we've done there. And that completes this episode where we create a simple Flutter application to download and display an image from the internet. Um, the following tutorial, which will be released a week later, we're going to be adding a pop-up menu and that will allow us to switch between images. And that's a part of the real um, content of this series where we're going to be showing you the different mechanisms of replacing widgets or switching between widgets, however you want to 
look at it. And so that concludes this episode. Um, please note, I'm pretty busy and I don't really have chances to review the questions that go into YouTube. If you are desperate for my help and you're willing to pay for it, I'll put a link to Code Mentor up there and that's where I pay paid for support to help you out with your projects or help teach you Flutter, Android, Kotlin, um, any combination of those languages if you want to um, enroll and pay for my project services. And anyway, thank you for taking the time for watching this one. Bye for now.